Hello, hi there. This is Kevin, a third year student of Northampton University. Um, well, what I'm doing today is I'll be going around interviewing people to see their views in the music industry, who their favorite artists are, and what they could offer if they had a chance to change the music industry. So yeah, let's go. My name is Kevin. Yeah. From Northampton University, a business entrepreneurship student. Well, the reason why I'm asking I'm here today is I'm about to ask you a few questions about hip hop in general. Okay. And about the music industry. Um, you can introduce yourself. Well, I'm South Bentley, aka Single A, aka from around your way, Aaron. Yeah. South Bentley, um, yeah. what do you really do? What, um, if I may know. Well, I'm a rapper at the moment. Um, also, uh, I'm a clothes designer. Okay. Um, I got clothing out and stuff like that, G13, music. So, yeah. So, you're an entrepreneur, basically. Yeah, you're entrepreneur, just, entrepreneur. You're not just an artist, you make clothes and. Yeah, I make clothes. Um, I do events, um, just getting into promotions as well and stuff like that. I used to do promotions years ago, but yeah, I used to do that. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah. So, um, what do you think about our modern day music, like hip hop in general? Like, what, what do you think of it? Because I'm hearing there's a lot of changes going on. People saying hip hop is dead, mm. it's not like how it used to be back in the day. And mm. Nah, um, can't say hip hop is dead. Like, Obviously, if to some people it may be dead because, like, you know, they're not hearing most of it or stuff is not appealing to them, but you know, it's just up to certain artists, like, to you know, keep coming and do what they normally do, and you know, what I'm saying, stay, right? yeah, just stay relevant to the game and everything. And you know, um, but hip hop is nowhere dead right now, it's like improving. So, yeah. Hello, hi there. This is Jennifer, a clothing line owner, he's an entrepreneur. There's a clothing line coming out called XYZ. Well, what I'm doing is I'm going to ask you a few questions about music, the hip hop industry. So, so would you introduce yourself to the people? Hello, my name is John Spoon. Yeah, like Kevin said, I'm co founder of XYZ Clothing, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, can I ask you, what do you think about today's music, like hip hop in general, or rock? Yeah. Um, well, I think today, Especially with like hip hop and stuff, it's more diverse, and um, I know it just sort of like reaches out to a bigger crowd and bigger audience, man. So it's like a good position at the moment. I oh, think. Okay. And who, like, who are your favorite artists at the moment, or who have been your um, favorite artists? In terms of rap music, Kanye West, Kanye. always, because okay. he's yeah, it's Kanye West, man. Okay. Does he have a influence on you or on your your clothing? What you do? Does does Kanye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does have any I mean, he makes us. I don't know with Kanye West. It affects our clothing a lot because it, it sort of, sort of, sort of uh, allows us to be into cross between it's music and fashion, you know. So yeah, cause it allows us to sort of like go into the two different industries and yeah. Because I heard Kanye, um, he's trying to design hotels in America and Vegas. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. doing also um, projects at the moment. Mm -hmm. He has. Uh, Besides his music career, mm. he's got um, this clothing line he's doing with Pharrell. I heard. Yeah, of. I think what he just what he shows is that you could sort of. Use one of the one of your creativeness to stop and then sort of like explode into other areas. Oh, okay. So that's what we're trying to do with XYZ, for example, is we started as a clothing line, but we're trying to move into different stuff like accessories and yeah, just anything that. Okay, so um, just your last question I'll ask you, sir. Um, if you have the, um, the chance to change the music industry, what would be the thing you would like to change? Like if you had the opportunity to change anything. I think in the music industry. what I'd like is for sort of like free speech, you know, for artists to sort of have creativity of what they want to release and not just it being some sort of like, like label political, yeah, like label yeah, yeah. Telling you drop this instead of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's it, yeah. Well, that's fine. Thank you very much for your time. Thank anyway, you, man. Man. Nice like. talking to you. Okay. Would you, would you think hip hop has an influence in your life? The way you act, the way you dress, the way you talk. You think oh, most definitely, influence? most definitely, most definitely. I, I would say, um, yeah, like I'm from like the '90s era, so I, you know, fitted hats and you know, Timberlands and whatever. Okay. You know, that's my style, Jordans and so whatnot. That's, whatnot. That's because so, of hip hop. So like, yeah, that's because of hip hop. That's so music has that much power to yeah, control you. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, music is energy, man. When you take it down to hip hop and you know, the type of music that you listen to, it, it brings that energy and that vibe. So, you know, you tend to dress in that sense. You know what I mean? That, that, that's a character of you, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, so um, as a designer, of a, as an entrepreneur, how would you, like, let's say you've got a clothing line coming out today. Yeah. Would you design it 
to just hip hop people or just be to everyone? Or just nah, to, I would, I would, is I it a cultural base? Is it? I wouldn't just naturally base it on hip hop. I mean, it. I would get inspiration from the hip hop. You know what I mean? The like, you know, to, just the dress sense and certain things, but. You know, a lot of things don't necessarily mean that, you know, like if I did not clothing lines and suits now, like, you know, yeah, it's very hard. Like a lot of hip hop artists don't really wear suits, but unless it's like one of them, you know, mobster kind of beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, like, you know, like, what's his name? He takes, he did his Sean Combs. Yeah, Sean he's got Combs, clothing lines. Yeah, yeah, he got a suit. He got and a suit. Nelly, got a suit. I but a few, the rapper Nelly yeah, got. a few of them, a few of them, but yeah. it's very, you know, right, very, very hard, very, very hard, hard to do, very you know what I'm saying? Base everything on the hip hop genre, but it is a big influence, a yeah, very big influence, oh, believe me, a lot of influence. I mean, for most people, it, it, it's mostly their influence. They get it off that, you know, what the rappers wear and, you know, or their artists or whatever's going on, you know? Brilliant, 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 brilliant. I, I totally agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say it's your, the worst artist you ever had, you ever heard of, Ooh. like, you would think, Ooh, why, that's is wrong. That's... why is in the music industry? Ah, I can't Doesn't even have believe. to be a famous rapper. I don't know, Doesn't have to I don't be a know. I mean, like, I, I think, Anyone that you know didn't really deserve. I, don't, I can't say no one don't deserve don't it, but do like it. you got to put the work in. And I would say some of the artists that you know they know who they are, you know, got a little easy way in. Just bought me to one of my mates in town today, and he's gonna tell us about himself and what he does. Yeah, hi, hi, hi everyone. My name's Isa. Um, basically, what I'm doing is uh, I'm a club promoter. Um, my, my main role is to bring down artists to try and uh, promote the club, performing at events. So that's what I do basically. So, uh, so what sort of artists do you usually bring to your club? <coughs> right now, it ranges from everything from Afrobeat artists, um, people that are going to do some dubstep, you know, United Kingdom artists, or, or um, going to like United States artists. So people like locally, like Wiley, um, people like that really, really goes off in clubs. Yeah. So, um, have you ever brought any? Like female singer to, to, to a club, or was it usually um, has to be um, an artist like, let's say, um, young artist is doing like Bow Wow or, yeah, or yeah, let's yeah. say Snoop, or does that yeah. or can you have you ever booked an artist like Lady Gaga or the Shakira to the club? Those type of things, right? Booking those type of artists for private events um, because of the, the type of music they yeah, do, the, the type produce, of okay. yeah, the type of people they are, it gets really very difficult because. They, they tend to do their own shows. Oh, they don't true. perform for other people. True. You know? then, yeah. then um, the market is a bit different because they're charging more than yeah, they probably yeah, make yeah. Out there in, in I think for them, for those type of artists, they rather they rather bring their own people to them rather than you taking them to other people. Hi yeah, there, this is Connor. It's a video director of Standard Films. So, say a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Connor. Um, Basically what I am, I'm a director, I'm a director of photography. Specialised mostly in music videos. Um, so I've done quite a lot of music artists, especially hip hop and rap artists. And I've done a video of Kevin himself. So um, so yeah, I work with, I get to work with a lot of music artists. So it, even though I'm not directly involved in the industry, um, I work with a lot of people who are. So I've learned quite a, quite a lot about the industry, to be honest. Yeah, okay, so um, what type of artists have you shot? videos for besides hip hop artists? Have you done any sort of um, indie music or for singers? Different genres of music artists I've worked with. Um, I've done a lot of rap artists, hip hop artists, um, also done some grime artists. More recently as well, I've done a few individual singers, both male and female. Okay. And the most recent work I did was with a band. Um, they did alternative sort of funk. Oh, okay. So I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of different genres and a lot of different type of people, which is good because creativity never really stops. Everyone has their own different ideas and different ways and styles that they want video shooting. So um, it, it really varies. Videos vary on, on the genre of music that, that you're shooting for. So. Now, do you think um, artists literally portray a different image in the videos than they actually are in person? So, so, or are they all themselves? Um, so? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, there's some people who are really real, really true to themselves, and they just are who they are on camera. But then there's some artists who, who change change on camera to to give the image that, that they want to give obviously that comes from influence from all the bigger oh, bigger artists all the bigger hip-hop all, all the stuff you see on MTV that people really want to be um, at the moment if you have a opportunity to change the music industry what would it be what would you change what would you um, put in a different position no right now in music I think music is getting very diverse like but like there's so many different types of music, there's so many types of voices that are out. Uh, basically, all I think is I think musicians need to need to keep telling the story. Um, 
not 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 let boundaries get in the way of what they're saying i mean nowadays you're getting a lot of like hip-hop artists that can say whatever they want in in a music video not really make any sense but will still sell because of the type of person they are yeah. i think True. a story sells better True. to so basically individuals you're you know? saying that um what you would change is you you won't want to sell the music than the artist yeah, so you yeah let people exactly. listen to what exactly. the type of music they're producing than the type of artists he's artists that, yeah, exactly oh, okay. you know because i don't so think you, uh, yeah that's that's exactly what i think okay oh, do you have any top five music artists that you like to sell or any favorite music artists that you like um, to say? well at the moment yeah it could be for uk <coughs> America. i think i think at the moment what's what's really doing it for me like um, indie musicians like feel good music, you know. Okay. I mean, as a young person, you just want to have a good time, enjoy so, what you're so doing. So people like oh Miguel, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Like the, the group weekend, fun, the yeah. weekend, oh, okay. that type of music. So oh. that's really what's doing for me. Okay, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, man.